Hey folks, it's me, Joseph, coming at you again with another episode of Art and the Garden, the series where I share with you two things I have an enormous passion for, my art and my container garden. If you're ready, let's grow. All right, so hey, let's start this episode off with where we left off with the last episode. Uh, that's the four feet by six and a half feet uh, painting that I'm doing of all of the crops that I'm bringing from the garden. Uh, and so I'm gonna include all of those uh, as, as, as I harvest them. I'm gonna include them in this painting and I st I'm starting off with some uh, serrano peppers, some okra, and some Hungarian hot wax peppers. Now, I'm, I'm starting off, this is eventually going to be an acrylic on canvas painting, but I'm starting off with watercolor pencils just to sort of outline everything and block in color. And I'm excited about where we are going so far. That's with the art in this episode. With the garden, we're gonna kinda give you an update on everything that's going on. And that's including my peppers, my watermelons, um, all of the things that I have growing out there. I'll kinda share with you what that looks like. And um, yeah. And so I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is going to be a really fun painting. It's going to take a couple of episodes to finish, but I hope you enjoy what you're seeing and I hope you enjoy the, the finished product uh, down the road a few months from now. Anyway, let's head out to the garden. All right, so we are in the garden and we're gonna start with these tomatoes. These are some celebrity tomatoes that I have been blessed to, to get my hands on uh, because it's so hard to find seeds and I'm going to harvest the seeds of these uh, celebrity tomatoes after, uh, at, you know, maybe at the end of the season or from some of the tomatoes that I harvest. Uh, uh, over this growing season. Um, also, I have over here, uh, this is what I call a black, uh, what they call a black kim. I'm not sure what's happening here. I have yet to see a fruit, but I'm not gonna worry about it. This is a heirloom. Oh, yes, let me talk about my melons. Yeah, this is that striped melon I have no name for. I just call it the striped melon, and it is doing pretty good. Um, and so far, um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. I love growing melons. I did a sugar baby last year, and I'm doing another sugar baby this year. And so far, pretty good. This one may not survive, but I do have over here a sugar baby a couple of sugar baby melons that are growing on this side and doing pretty good in the containers i'm excited about that and so this update is all about what i have growing now what's doing pretty good and you know some hits and misses as well these roma tomatoes are finally beginning to do pretty good at the beginning of the season i began to i, I was dealing with some blossom in rot with these uh Roma tomatoes as well as my early girls and I'll show you them a little bit later uh, but that was because I wasn't getting out to the garden enough to water everything on a consistent basis this is a lemon boy 
uh, tomato and I, I, I I'm you know it's my first time growing it I'll see what happens with it uh, another Roma over here in the corner uh, that I have growing that I've had to cut back uh, quite a bit if you know me you know I love to grow in succession so I have some more sugar baby melons uh, starting up right here and if you know me I've always had success with these green onions and stuff so they're doing pretty good and I'm excited about that here are these early girls uh, who also that they they were also dealing with that blossom in rot uh, <clears throat> at the beginning, and you know blossom in rot is really caused by a lack of calcium, and so the calcium I use a lot of bone meal, and the calcium is in that bone meal. But if I'm not watering to get the the water to transfer the bone meal or the calcium from the soil up to the plants, that's gonna lead to that blossom in rot. And so now I'm doing pretty well with watering more consistently. And these early girls are looking pretty good. I'm excited about that. And so I'm happy so far. I'm, uh, uh, I've harvested a little bit. I'm also dealing with a little bit of uh, an infestation of something. I'm not sure what. Uh, so I'm going to start hitting them with neem oil and things like that. Uh, the okra. I've always had success with okra. And the okra plants are doing extremely well. Uh, I have about six of them. And they are just doing fantastic. Creating these beautiful blooms. And I've, I've already harvested a ton of okra. And when I say a ton, I don't mean in weight but quite a bit of okra uh, and shared with people and cooked with it and things like that. So okra, I'm, I'm happy with. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing really well and I've always done pretty good with the okra. Now, um, I have also some pepper plants that I bought as starter plants from Houston Garden Center. Houston Garden Center. And these are Hungarian hot wax. They are doing extremely well. I tried going uh, from seed with the uh, pepper, uh, with pepper with cayenne, and, and just nothing really went well. These are some serranos that also were bought from Houston Garden Center, uh, and they are doing pretty good. And I think what I'm going to do now, since they are uh, doing pretty well, I'm going to go ahead and harvest. I'm going to harvest some of these uh, serranos. And I am going to get some of those Hungarian hot wax off the plants and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, these are looking pretty good. Uh, and I am pleased with them. But I really was excited about the idea of doing some cayenne again. But I have yet to get anything going from seeds. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going I'm to focus on what I do have and and you know at hand and just yeah you know, focus on that so the serranos and the hungarian hot wax never heard of them i said let me give it a try and um uh, and see how it goes you know yeah yeah now these are the hungarian hot wax and if you notice they have a uh, they sort of resemble the uh, banana peppers uh, from my understanding that if you leave the Hungarian hot wax on the plant uh, until they begin orange or red or uh, turn red they become a lot hotter these are what they would consider immature Hungarian hot wax peppers because they're still a bit yellow but still are providing me with a nice little heat uh, to my salads and to some of the things that I'm cooking, you know, uh, to some, 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 you know, uh, food that, and so I'm loving the fact that, um, they are, they're, they're really good, but I'm, I think I'm gonna harvest these and what I'll do with the next round is kind of maybe leave them on the vine, leave them on the plant a little longer, see if they turn orange and stuff like that and get a little bit hotter. I love the heat that they provide now, but I want to see what happens a little bit later if I leave them on maybe just a little longer 
and see what type of heat I get from them. So I'm excited about that. So hey, you know, I am really pleased with everything that's happening in the garden right now. A little concerned, I was concerned at the beginning, but everything is beginning to shape up pretty good, especially these peppers and things like that. So, hey, you know me, I'm gonna always ask you, hey, to go to my website, why don't you consider purchasing some of the prints that I have available that are from the Art and the Garden series? And that purchase will always will allow me to continue to produce uh, some videos that I hope is informative and, 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 and entertaining as well. And so go to my website, check it out.